What's going on guys, it's Caveman here. Just wanted to give you guys a little bit of my thoughts on this Split Pad Compact Pac-Man Edition from Hori. So, I really thought long and hard. You know, anybody that follows me or knows me personally or as a gamer knows that I love Pac-Man, obviously, right? I wanted to get the um, full Split Pad Pro. Like, I, there, there's a Pac-Man Edition 1. Hang on a second. There's... I got this this black one here. Um, got this for Father's Day. It's great. I love it. I can use it handheld mode. I can use it. Well, it's docked. I love it. Um, it's the pro attachment set. You could you could do this with any of them. You could buy the pro attachment set separately. Um, whatever, right? But that's that's just great for hand comfort, right? <clears throat> Especially when you're 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 on the on the move. If you're older like me, or you like big bigger controllers like I do, you know it's great. This one here. So I want to get the Pac-Man version, but I thought, nah, I'm not going to get it. Ended up getting it as a gift, but it wasn't the Pac-Man one. So looked and said, you know, I'm going to buy it. Then I look and I see that it's generally out of stock. Then I look and see that it's inflated pricing, a bunch of scalping going on with it on eBay. I might pay an eBay price someday. I don't know. We'll see. It, it kind of depends on how much I like this. This right here came about, though, and this is the compact. And it's not going to be as bulky, which is a good thing but it may not be as comfortable. So that's that's what I'm hoping is that it's going to be comfortable for me. Um, hopefully I can get this open one-handed for you all to see. I'm gonna try it out with my switch right here and maybe just kind of compare, you know, between between the two, um, you know, like a standard Joy-Con and then this. And this is nothing to write home about, your typical box, boxing of it. Um, instructions that I don't really need. At least not right now. At least I shouldn't need, right? This should be as simple as I attach it and, and it's ready to go, right? We'll find out if that's not really the case. If it's not, we'll take a look at the instructions and kind of see what's what's going on. But taking a quick look at it, you know, this actually looks like it'll be comfortable. Um, at least at least more so than a traditional Joy-Con, right? So not not for everybody. But if you're a Pac-Man fan, this you know, this might be the hot ticket. So if I'm looking at the back, you know, there's a little bit of a nudge there so we could use the trigger. And this here though, it's got a, a lot more contouring to it. It's got the back button. There's other features to that, you know, that I'm not gonna really use much, but you could program that and utilize that differently. Uh, it's got a sign and turbo function of features. Um, I guess I could read the instruction and get more into that. I apologize. I'm not doing a very good review from that standpoint. I didn't really buy it for that. I bought this, you know, mostly for the aesthetics and, and also because I think that it'll be more comfortable, definitely more comfortable than a Joy-Con. Than a Joy-Con. Um, it's not going to be wireless, um, at least I don't think, um, but, you know, at least there's a turbo function. I can use this on maybe some legacy games, some beat-em-ups, R-type games like that that I like to play on my Switch, and I'm just kind of going through this here to see what they've got here, and it's just assigning the buttons to the back. Anyways, let's take a look here real quick at uh, how it will work with the, the actual switch itself for me anyway. And like I say, it's mainly about the comfort. Um, hopefully I can do this, you know, one-handed without, you know, breaking anything. <laughs> Give me just one second, guys. I apologize. I'm trying to hold the camera. I need to get a camera stand is what I need to do if I'm going to be doing this on the regular is what I really need to do. Just one second. There we go. Got them all clicked in here. Oh, that looks great. I love the way that looks, actually. That looks fantastic. Um, yeah, I think I think that'll be be all right. Let's see if it, it works right off the cuff or not. Well, it's going to make me hit the power button for sure. So let's hit the power button, see if it works right off the cuff. It does. There we go. Cool. So as you see, I bought some Star Wars uh, games here just because I, I love the old Star Wars games. But, uh, you know, it seems like it's going to function just fine. Let's go into the controllers, see how it shows up there. Yep, shows up connected. Obviously, it's not going to charge them because they're not uh, wireless or battery enabled. Um, so that, that works, man. Let's boot up a game and just kind of see see how things go. Let's, uh, let's do something. Let's, let's do an update. Apparently, wants an update. So that may take a second. But, you know, it feels great. Um, as far as physically, and that's the most important thing for me. So it looks cool, feels good. It's not quite as big as the other ones. And what I ought to do is get out 
My other ones are sitting in the bag over here. I put them in my backpack because I like to have them around for, you know, when I go on trips. I like just grab my bag and go. It has all my, my goodies in it. Give me just a hot second here as that's booting. Let me see if I can pull out one of these other controllers here that I have. Ah, here we go. So there's, a, there's one of the full-size ones just to kind of compare. And I guess the big difference is... Right there, it's got more of that edge right there to hold with. The back, however, I don't know that the back is really much different. Let's take a look here and see. Pardon me for just one second as we take a look at this here. You know, it's not too much different. Um, just kind of get a better viewpoint, viewing angle for you guys. I'm sitting down now. So, yeah, I mean, geez, I, I don't know. I think it'll be okay. I do like having that extra edge to sit into my hand right there, right? See how that goes right into my hand? I do like that a little better, but that doesn't mean this won't be comfortable, and it doesn't mean I won't... Yeah, it's it's not going to sit all the way into my palm like I want, so it's, it's coming about right here into my palm. Nitpicking, of course, this here is a little bit more comfortable for me. That way I'm able to rest my palm in there. But for some people, I actually think this will be more comfortable for them because it's not going to take up as much space. You can actually probably use it in some of your um, some of your gear, right? Like some of us have, um, you know, I've got like a little travel case like this. Um, I don't know if it'll fit in the travel, travel case or not. Uh, of course, I'll have to remove some stuff here to make that go. But let me just do a quick little test here see if it'll fit no it will not fit in the travel case so scratch that still too big for those kind of things so i don't know but it is less bulky and for some folks it just might be better i don't know and uh i got a little bit of dust on my my uh switch here just because it stays docked more often than not i don't use handheld mode as often as i used to but i'll be getting back on to running around here soon with my daughters and this will be important as well as this bad boy here my alienware it's an m18 but that's kind of my travel my go-to travel situation right is the same thing wear and in this um anyways let's get back on this and see how how it functions at least for me and i don't know how well i'm going to be able to show you guys anything maybe a quick pack 99 game you know you know, we lost our, our Battle Royale, but there's another Battle Royale game coming, so stay tuned for uh, videos about that and updates, reviews about that. I'm not a Pac-Man channel. This just happens to be some cool stuff coming out from Bandai Namco and coming out right now that I'm I'm messing with and I'm really enjoying. Um, but we'll go over here to CPU Battle and kind of see how it, how it feels, and um, we'll just keep it as is. So I'm not sure a good way I could do this with one hand without making a fool of myself here. Ah, it feels great. I still prefer the other uh, from a size standpoint, but, you know, this isn't, this isn't bad. This will be okay. You know, it's, it's better. It's better than messing with the uh, Joy-Cons. I could still tolerate the Joy-Cons okay, but I prefer... I much prefer the um, full split pad Hori over this. D-pad is not as responsive as I was like. Right now I'm using this D-pad and I'm not... I don't know. There's things about the Joy-Cons that are better. They're more responsive than, you know, for games like this I've found. There's a little bit of a delay there. Well, I'll mess with it some more. I just wanted to kind of bring it out and say, hey, this is something that might be cool. You know, might might be for other people. I don't know. But uh, I certainly enjoy having the more comfortable, um, you know, spacing. And, uh, yeah. It, and maybe it's me. I feel like it's... Nope. I'm, like, pressing and it does not want to go. And it could be a me thing. I'm big on having a responsive D-pad. Yeah, this is just not real responsive, folks. I'll be honest with you. I'll have to test it with my other uh, Hori split pad and see if it's just maybe I'm used to using, you know, my Joy-Cons a lot lately. For for this game especially, I was using my Joy-Cons and I was using a, a Pro controller. Yeah, 
Anyways, this will go on for a bit. I'm going to chill on that for a hot second and uh, just kind of go to the home screen here and quit out. It's like I say, it feels a little bit, feels a little bit stiff. It's also new. Maybe it'll break in more. But as far as like being able to hold it and stuff, definitely feels better. Looks great. A little disappointed in that D-pad. I'll mess with it a little more, guys, and let you know how I feel. You could also map the turbo buttons. It looks cool. Um, I think for most games, it's going to be just fine. Um, I think I'm just real picky on the D-pad with, with the Pac-Man, you know, 99 games. I'm sure if we're playing something else, it'll it'll work better. I'll, I'll mess with it and give you my thoughts in the comments. Um, also, like I say, it's got the turbo mode and the button assignments and whatnot. The stuff that pretty pretty fair in common with, with the Ori, as you can see, this has it as well. I don't really mess with it. Um, like I say, I might, I might do the turbo, like I say, for some other, other games. Um, and I might even do a rebutton assignment. I don't know. But anyways, I just thought I'd show you guys the split pad compact Pac-Man since I bought it for myself. And like I say, it's, it's not exactly what I wanted, but it's cool and it'll work. Anyways, be good to each other. Love one another. Have a great day, y'all. Bye-bye.